What's good, YouTube? This is your homeboy, Ray Yoshi, here. My next episode, let's play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm going to apologize for the weird disturbances you're going to be seeing on screen. I'm home for winter break, and this TV doesn't agree with my laptop charger, so I'm kind of just going to have to deal with this until I can get a new laptop charger. It's not that bad, but it's still enough to annoy me, so I'm going to apologize. But previously, we finished what we had to do in Hollow Bastion for now. So now we have two places we can go. We can either go to this world, ow, or this one, ow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up this way first. But as you see, we cannot access the world until we unlock it. So we have to go through the asteroid sweep in order to unlock this world. So let's go. Now... This is this world's version of the gummy flight sequences. Now for this, you can go just start, or you can edit your gummy ship. I have no intention of doing any major edits to my gummy ship anytime soon, so I'm just gonna start straight out. Just gonna go in with what they give us to start with. Now I'm going to apologize now because my TV screen for some reason is really dark. Whoa, what in the world? All right, that was weird. But yeah, I was saying my TV screen's really dark, so it might I might miss certain things. Like I cannot see that that second word says abort, <laughs> but I know it does. So let's just start the mission. Yeah, gummy fight sequences definitely got a lot cooler in Kingdom Hearts 2. I would say that they greatly improved the awesomeness of the gummy fight sequences from game to game. So we're just gonna wait a moment. Give it a second. Alright, base control is use the left analog stick to turn the gummy stick, gummy ship, and X to fire. It's pretty simple. Bring it on! All right, I went on full, full auto. Okay, so I just changed my control to full auto. In full auto, I just hold the X button down and I'll rapid fire. And if I release the X button, my gummy ship will lock on to enemies to shoot a laser. And when I press the X button again, it will shoot the laser. Uh, this the gummy fly sequences are rather simple, but they're these are really cool, and they do get a bit, quite a bit harder a little later in the game. Ow. Uh, you have a meter in the top left corner for, you get for killing enemies and collecting the little yellow balls that come out. That will actually increase your rank. Each time you hit, you get hit, you lose one rank. But the longer you go without getting hit and collecting metals, the higher rank you get. Ooh. If you see any enemies who are glowing like that, make sure you take them out. That'll give you things for when you go back to building more gummy ships. Definitely very useful to pick up. Uh, I believe the rank maxes out at level 30. And I think I've only ever maxed my rank once. When you max your rank, your gummy ship becomes supercharged for a short period of time. And you do a lot of damage while supercharged. Oh, gold. Just blowing gold. Make sure you really want to take them out. Ow. Alright. As I said before, these are relatively simple to deal. Oh, let's take these guys out. They're glowing. Ow. Oh, gold. Are you going gold? No. Uh, my ranking is only 9 right now out of 30, which isn't too amazing. But it's not that big of a deal to me. Although it would be cool to hit a ranking of 30. Like, I have trouble getting my ranking over 10 sometimes. As you can probably see rather clearly. Ooh, ooh. Oh, jeez, enemies! Oh, yeah, yeah. Ranking 13. The boss. Oh, 15. I'm impressed with myself. I don't know how I'm doing this. And we have passed.
the first dummy fight sequence. Root open. Alright, we can now play in lo missions level 1 and 2. As well as we get new gummy ship blueprints. We gain Highwind level 1 and Falcon level 1. And here's a list of treasures that we've collected. So, now that, that's t now that, that has been taken care of. Wait for it. We are free to enter our new world. So, let's land in the land of dragons. See that Mulan? It's Shan Yu, leader of the Hun army. Come on, girl. This is your big chance. I can see it now. Fa Mulan, whoops, public enemy number one. You're gonna be famous. I'm talking A-list. Mushu, I'm not sure. I haven't even joined the army yet. I have to take my father's place to preserve the Fa family honor. I just hope I don't get discovered. Whatever. You're just scared. Admit it. Aren't you? Hmm. Huh? Uh-huh, yes! Let's get the jump on him. Gorge! Maybe we better look before we leap. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Is that Mushu? That's right. I know you heard of me. I'm little, lethal, and legendary. Now y'all scram before I get my dragon dander up. Hey, Mushu. We missed you. Yeah, well, you better hope I miss you, or else you're... you're... Sora! Donald! Goofy! Do you know them? Know them? Man, we used to kick all kinds of bad guy butt together. Yeah, you know I help these guys out of a lot of tight spots. Cause I'm a mighty dragon, right? Something like that. And you are? I'm Mulan. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I mean, Ping. Mulan Ping. Just Ping. I am Ping, son of Fazu. You know Mushu? Mushu's one of my family's guardians. We didn't know we were borrowing somebody as important as a family guardian. Yeah, that's right. And that puts you three up to your eyeballs in debt to ping here. Well, guess what, kitties? It's payback time. Oh, show. Nah, they don't mind. Ain't that right? Hmm, sounds fair. See, ping here was just on his way to join the Imperial Army. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. Would you join us? It'll be easier to fit in if I'm with guys like you. What do you mean, fit in? Well, uh, uh, don't, don't worry about that. You're pretending to be a boy, aren't you? Huh? What? You're a girl? You didn't notice? <coughs> Not me. I think it's working. I don't know. Those two would fall for anything. I'm right here. And welcome to the Land of Dragon. So now we get Ping, also known as Mulan, added to our party. We cannot switch Ping out of our party, unfortunately. So for this point in the game, I'm actually going to keep Goofy in. Similar to what I did in Kingdom Hearts 1. Until Donald learns heal, Donald's probably going to get switched out frequently. Okay, I just need to get rid of these stupid new things. I'm sorry. that Those really bother me. I don't know why. 
All right, Pink starts out with a few items on him, which is good. Him, her, whatever you'd like to call, since technically it is Mulan. If you watch the Disney movie Mulan, which is a great movie, I will add. So now, using our command list, you can hit left to open up a new list of commands. And now we have party, which allows us to switch our party members on the go. Very cool uh, new addition from Kingdom Hearts. But for the most part, I'm probably going to have Goofy here. So just open a few chests really fast. Boop. And we're going to stop here. These are little mogul shops. You can shop now from every planet. Unlike in Kingdom Hearts 1 where you could only shop from Traverse Town. I'm going to grab me a couple potions. Which are rather expensive right now. Kind of sucks just a little bit. I don't need to save. I don't need to save. Okay, real quick, one thing about this game that bothers me. This is the only Kingdom Hearts game where you do not have the ability to dodge wall. That really makes me angry, honestly. Remember, girl, and Lee. Time we got some grub. Hey, no cutting. Get out. <laughs> Back off. It's face in line. I wonder what they're serving for lunch today. Naka sandwiches. Hey, does it? <laughs> Please. Please. What a girl. Uh, knock it off. Knock what off? You punched me. What a shrimp. Who you calling a shrimp, Panda Lips? I'm a bona fide guardian dragon. L let's just get back in line, okay? Whose side are you on? I just got slugged. Want some more? Soldiers, get back in line. The captain. Alright, so now in the upper left there's a gauge that represents our party's morale. If we lose all of our morale, we die. Which really sucks. So the gauge the gauge can be restored by orbs that drop from enemies we defeat. And blah blah blah. Put orbs, it's close to make sure to gather any orbs as possible, especially the rare ones. So now we have to fight some heartless. Real quick, I'm going to show off. Valorform! When in Valorform, Sora wields two Keyblades but loses his ability to use magic. While on this form, your attacks deal an increased amount of damage and you attack a lot faster. Sora's combos chain together much more easily, as well as he, you basically can just strike your enemies. Also, right there is a new enemy that is a Nightwalker. Nightwalkers are heartless found primarily in the Land of Dragons. Yeah. Eh, I didn't get a chance to describe them. You three, what are your names? Sora, Donald, Goofy. You are you are welcome in my troop. Your battle skills are encouraging. You should return home.
All right, so we got a map of the area. I'm honestly going to try to cut down on my usual amount of voice acting that I do. Because I've realized that my voice acting can be a little disturbing and or scary or creepy sometimes. So real quick, Valform, you do wield the two keyblades. I explained all this already. You can end it early by just hitting revert. Since it was just going to be wasted anyway. So now let's talk to um, General Shang, I believe. And get back in. Just a quick side note. You cannot activate Valiform without Goofy in your party. And you see in the, in the little icon with a HP and our magic meter, the drive bar. If you do not have three levels of drive bar, you cannot enter Valiform. So, let's talk about the mission. So we have three different missions we need to do. So, first let's do... This is the one that gives me the most trouble, the search. This mission is stupid. We need to find all the Heartless in this area and destroy them. So we have to destroy all the hidden Heartlesses. So here's one. There's a total of eight Heartless here. And our morale meter is a time limit. Real quick, I'm going to set everything on fire. But this is the fastest, this is honestly the fastest and easiest way to find all the heartless. Because by destroying all the tents, the heartless cannot hide from us. Alright, grab the balls for the morale meter. This is the one of these little missions that I have the most trouble with. Especially since Ping is honestly very useful useless but we need to keep him in our party unfortunately oh, there's a night walker uh i'll explain more about night walkers a little later because oh geez getting hit causes to lose some of our morale too collect morale for collect it collect the good stuff collect it get him. come on get him on fire get him get him get him Collect up morale. Oh. Yes, Goofy. Goofy, you rock. Goofy is the best party member. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. If it wasn't for Goofy, we might not have been able to complete that. So we gained an, an AP boost. As usual, I suggest only using these boost items on Sora. Oh. Let's just explain something about our MP. Wait, what? Wait, what, what in the world? That's cool. Okay, I didn't know that. I actually... Okay, see? I did not know that about Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, we destroyed the camp. Okay, who cares? So now we have two more missions we need to do. Let's do the ambush. Alright, and after we finish the... Um, the... Wait. I forgot what I was going to say, crap. Alright, so, basically we just need to finish, kill all these enemies. Let me see. Alright, the morale gauge will drop when we get attacked by a giant heartless that said will appear. So, yeah, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Giant heartless? No, I didn't think so. Take out these little shadows right around here. Now, the night walkers, these guys are small, but they can be annoying. They float through the air, and they, they do do a decent bit of damage for this early part of the game. However, even though they can be annoying, I don't think they're all too dangerous and heartless. Oh, new heartless. Meet the assault rider. Assault rider, he is. Basically, our big heartless for this area of the game. 
really annoying. These things can be tough to take on and bring down, especially in problem. In problem, these things do some work. See this? I'm used to having dodge roll, so I'm trying. To, I'm trying to dodge these attacks and are crunched. I should not. I should not have to just take the hit because I can't dodge him. Yeah. Okay. That is really stupid. I don't like that. Uh, assault riders are rather strong and can do quite a bit of damage. So you do want to be careful when you take them on. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fire spell in this game, but I'm using it because a lot of enemies coming after me are close range. If you want to deal with some tough enemies, especially from a distance, Blizzard is the far better option. Oh my goodness, this is stupid. There, he's dead. I, why am I locked onto that? Oh. Also, if you notice that Zora does his basic attack combos, at the end of the combos he'll, do, he'll launch a stronger hit than the rest of the hits in the combo. That actually will happen in Sora's magic spells as well. He'll launch several magic spells and then the final spell will be a little bit stronger than the previous. Remember to take advantage of that, especially when you're dealing with groups of enemies. And okay, he goes down. Finally. Jeez. Uh, but the Assault Riders can be really tough to take on and they do a lot of damage. So we have one more assignment left before we can go. So let's. Okay, there we go. Um, do I have any abilities I can equip? What's this? What does that say? Combo boost. Okay, it just increases increases the damage of the finishing the finishing move of ground combos relative to the number of hits in the combo. All right, yeah, that's a that's more so what I'm talking about. With a finishing combo move deals more damage. Now let's just go to the surprise attack and we're all done. We'll be done for this video. Alright, now defeat all of the heartless. So, let's take on. Uh, let's real quick. Okay, so the morale gauge is just a timer in this one. So you have to defeat 15 Heartless before we run out of time. That seems straightforward and simple enough. Ow. Let me just put these guys on fire a little bit. Even though I don't like fire in this game, it does have its uses. That is, that is my opinion about that. Also, real quick, I would like to say that me being a big Kingdom Hearts fan, I've played every single Kingdom Hearts game out so far, except for Birth by Sleep. Well, and the final mix, because you don't get those in the US. Stupid. But, I don't know, I guess I will, I'll do my best not to get angry about that, even though I, part of me does want to. Uh, the fact that we don't get a Kingdom Hearts final mix doesn't annoy me. Because, it, because I feel like that's just the American Kingdom Hearts market losing out on a lot of money. But that's besides the point. I like every Kingdom Hearts game. That's come out. People complain about a lot of the side Kingdom Hearts games. Like, oh man, these games aren't that important. Why are they releasing them? Oh, that's stupid. They have importance to the story. For example, Chain of Memories was the first Kingdom Hearts side game to come out. So people complained a lot about Chain Memories because they're like, oh, it's stupid little card game, which, okay, it is a goofy little card game, honestly, but the thing is, it introduced an important piece of the Kingdom Hearts story, which is the Nobodies. They were released, they were, they were introduced in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. They weren't called Nobodies. But they were introduced to the story. And but you know what? I'm not gonna go even more into this right now. Even though I could probably go on a rant for this, which might last 
like four videos. I won't, but I'll do my best not to. Next episode, we're going to continue on because General Shang has another mission for us. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, do me a favor, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and please subscribe. One quick click, won't take any time. Peace, peace, and deuce, deuce. See ya. Why do I not have a dodge roll? Really, I don't understand this. Why?